Yeah, I see Wild Deacon Brown. Check this out. Meet Cameron's Vicky Brown. He's a musician, and he calls himself an environmental artist. Like most performers hoping to hit it big, Vicky has a day job. He drives a truck for an environmental group. The nonprofit works with the Baca, an indigenous society that lives in the Congo Basin forests and has since prehistoric times. Back in school, you know, we could read about the Bacas from our, our, from our history books. But for me, it was just like a picture. I could least believe until I met them in 2008. The Baca's traditional territory is now divided up into a crazy quilt of parks, farming plots, and huge logging and mining leases. When Vicky Brown saw how the Baca had been pushed out of the forest, he took up their cause. That area, it's so crowded now with a lot of activities, logging issues, mining issues, deforestation, climate change, and obviously will affect the lives of the Bacas. The Bacas struggle to survive now that they're consigned to roadside villages. They depend on the forest on, on so many aspects. Food, clothing, even shelter is the forest. Vicky Brown decided to champion the Bacas' cause with music. We know what music can do. Music can move the world around. It's really an instrument for change, an instrument that can uh, uh, advocate for people. The lyrics touch on many Baca grievances. They told Vicky the taxes collected on logging rarely benefit them. The government doesn't recognize Baca leaders and it's getting harder and harder for them to access the forest for food and medicine they've always counted on. It is their voice. I just play the role of a facilitator. Nobody will speak for them until they speak for themselves. The songs combine traditional Baca group singing, the sounds of handmade forest instruments, and the slick Cameroonian Makosa and hip hop that are Brown's specialties. Music is our culture. Music is what they have so, uh, so dearly. It's what they keep. It's what they enjoy the most. So I think uh, it was a good platform for them to feel much more strong. The choruses are sung in Baka, the lyrics in French and English, which are Cameroon's two official languages. So the songs literally translate the Baka message into a form the rest of the country's people can understand. So we want to take their voices beyond the forests, beyond the tall trees. Brown hopes to bring Baca musicians to Yaoundé, Cameroon's capital city. He's planning a concert and a long overdue conference with the country's leaders. Bringing them over, it will draw a lot of attention. The government officials are going to be there. The, the society as a whole is going to be the elites and all those people. This will be an opportunity to say the Baca isn't just staying back to see and watch things happening. They also take the forefront. How long will my people cry aloud? How long can they wait to see that change? How long will they live in darkness and watch their resources just taken away?